What's up, my fandoms? Coming back at you with another episode of Starfield. Hopefully we get further into this game. This game is fun. And we'll see how, where it takes us today. Alright, guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. and shine. We've got things to do. By Vectera, by Vectera, by Vectera! I can't believe it! Oh, is it you? Is it really, really you? Yes, yes, it is. Captain of the frontier, bane of the fleet, constellation's shining star of stars. Yes. Then the day is truly blessed, because for a moment, I wasn't sure if you were real or just another hallucination. But now that I know it's you, what are the odds? And to think, I almost went for coffee instead. But I changed my routine for one day and here you are. It's almost like it was meant to be. I know, right? And you can try to fight destiny, but you probably aren't going to win. Are you sure about Although, that? if I'm being honest, I'd wager you could beat just about anything, even theoretical concepts. But why would you in this case? Yeah. Either way, it's such an honor to meet you. Hey, do you mind if I follow you around? Do you need a sidekick? What am I saying? You're a hero, of course you do. Lead the way. You won't be disappointed.
I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? I feel the same. Yeah, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories, and I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready.
Well, you're back. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Don't you lin me. I thought things had already gone sideways, but no, that was just the beginning. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert, Troy, some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. You're right. You tell yourself you got deadlines, that the credits are what matter. But it's people doing the job, not machines. You think if you're strict with them that they'll focus on the work, give you a little distance if things go wrong. But you want them to win. Every boss does. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up.
says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it, no questions asked. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old best, as usual. But a guy does have to wonder, what the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon, in the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot him first. Those are my terms.
thinking.